Well, you won't believe this report. It's a warning for bottled water drinkers. We all drink bottled water. A new report says microplastic contamination is in major brands of bottled water. Researchers saying 93% of the brands like Aquafina, Dasani, and Evian, they all contain micro pieces of plastic. The top two brands, Dasani and Aquafina, they're owned by Coca-Cola and PepsiCo. The two co uh, companies have 26% of the bottled water market. That's as of last year. Let's bring in an expert, Dr. Jeanette Nishwat, joining me to talk about this. I mean, this seems like plastic is in all of our organs. We're going to die of cancer. What do you think? <laughs> well, moderation, moderation. I mean, plastic is all around us. It's just, it's impractical to not use it. You know, for example, if you're out on the soccer field and you're running back and forth, you need to hydrate. It's just impractical to not have a bottle of water How dangerous or a bottle of though? Gatorade. But here's the thing. These researchers caution that the human health risks remain unclear about this. So what right. do you say? It, it's, it, it's unclear because there's no research, there's not a lot of studies, but so far the FDA, the EPA, they have approved and thoroughly reviewed these plastics for many, many years. We've been using them for 30, 40 years. And so far there's no clear-cut evidence that shows that there's a direct correlation, a direct link between cancers, you know, low, some studies have shown maybe there's low sperm account, behavioral changes, brain abnormalities, but there's no clear-cut evidence. And as of right now, it's FDA approved. And our bodies, we need water. We need it to live. Could, uh, plastics could cause hormonal imbalances? It's possible. It's possible. But we need more studies. We need more research. That's the bottom line. All right. The research says that contamination is caused by plastic packaging and the bottling process. Uh, could it be contaminating soda and Gatorade products as well? What's currently used now, again, is FDA approved and it's been used for many, many years. And these products, these plastics that are being used, they're biologically inert products. So they have not been shown how does to it be leached into the food, into the drink that we are consuming. Got it. But we just show the chemicals involved there. Yeah. How does it affect the liver and the organs, though? So Plastic. anything in high contents moderation is the key. If you're in consuming something that is in, in large amounts, uh, it's going to affect you no matter what it is, whether it's plastic, whether it's pizza, whether it's soda, it, it doesn't matter what it is. High concentrations, high amounts can affect the heart, the liver, the kidneys. So that's why um, moderation is definitely the key. Doctor, would you advise getting drinks in glass bottles? Well, that's a very good question. What I advise is when the, the less processed food and drink that we can consume, the better. Um, you know, there's still, there's chemicals that are used to process glass, um, but we have to consume it uh, in, in some manner. But uh, me personally, yes, I would rather drink out of a glass than a bottle. But again, um, the studies don't show that there's clear-cut evidence that drinking uh, out of bottles is directly linked to, uh, to death. To Got it. Harmful. You are so great, Dr. Nishwa. Thank you so much for coming on.